Hello survivors, welcome back to another video. How are you today guys? Let me know in the comments. We are gonna make a quick video here, informative video, while we are waiting for the ascertain haze. We are gonna talk about the difference between BP and stats because some of you don't know yet what's the difference, especially in newer states. You are still guys chasing the BP. You know, I wanna be stronger, so I'm gonna increase this number next to my profile picture, but that's a mistake that some of you make. I have done that in the past, you know, focuses on BP, but it doesn't actually like tells you how strong you are. So BP, the number you see next to your like profile picture, is the total amount of battle power you have, guys. It is counting everything you have from the uh, things that are important during battle, like the amount of troops you have or the level of troops you have. To the amount the things that are not that are not super important during battles for example your lookout tower your farms your hero pressing the other heroes that you are not using when fighting other people so bp tells you actually everything about what's inside your settlement and you know the battle power that they provide you with but remember when you are fighting other players you are not using everything that is in your settlement. You cannot use the total amount of troops you have. You cannot use your decoration. You cannot use your farm to fight other people. So it, it doesn't tell you actually how well you will do when you are fighting other people because you cannot use everything you have in your settlement. Now, you have to think about your BP as the side of your muscle. So yeah, you can be flexing hard with a bigger muscle. Look, my biceps, they are super big and super strong. No, because the side of that muscle doesn't actually tell us how good can you use that muscle how, or how strong you are actually, because the side of the muscle and the strength are two things completely different. So what's gonna tell me how good you are with that muscle or how well can you use that muscle or how strong you are is here your stats so you have to think about your stats as the skills or how good you can use that muscle sometimes if you have watched mixed martial arts you are gonna see between the same weight classes like a guy with a bigger muscle fighting guys uh, which are skinnier and those guys sometimes end up winning the battles and how can they win the battle when they are skinnier? Well, they have better skills. So it's the same here in the game. You might have guys with more BP than you, but if that guy has been focusing on the wrong thing, which is the BP, and you have been focusing on the stats, then because you have better stats, you know how to use your smaller muscles better, then you are gonna be, win the battle. So yeah, what is more important on the game is your stats. So you have to be focusing on increasing your stats and your BP is gonna follow along. So instead of doing it backwards, focusing on your BP and then just let your stats follow, you have to inverse the things. You have to focus on your stats and then your BP is gonna follow and believe me, you are gonna be a super strong player. So don't focus just on increasing this because this is a mistake people make, especially in newer states, people who are willing to spend money they just focus on buying speed ups like battle bundles like resources bundles they are just crazy to see the hq go up and then reach plasma six seven eight but when they get there it turns out that they are being beaten by plasma sixes when they are plasma eight or they are being beaten by plasma fours or three like i was beating people when i was plasma three and four when they are plasma six and how is that possible well they don't focus on the right things they just focus on bp and hq level rather in what's more important which is how to use that muscle or your skills which are the stats so and you have multiple stats here and because i'm about to start my ascertain haze here i might just make another video telling you how to increase your stats guys i have made different videos before about this but i'm gonna try to put everything together in one video so so from the research how to do your research that i can summarize it basically now super quick you have to focus first especially if you are in newer state development so you focus on development because this is going to help you to increase the amount of like um, this construction speed the or the benefits for construction speed so you you construct you you build your buildings bigger quicker it's going to increase your hospital capacity and because you are attacking and you are being attacked a lot a lot um in the beginning of the state because you are fighting for territory 
you are going to need this. So increase your hospital capacity. You are also going to need to increase your training capacity to uh, increase the gap between when you have to be logging in to train troops again. And that's going to help you to get stronger uh, at the end of the day, because especially if you are just playing continuously for a lot of uh, months and, and days. And then finally, you are going to just be able to unlock your marches. And once you get here to this last level of leadership tree and you have your fifth slot or march slot unlocked, they are, then I recommend you just to go to battle. So once you have your fifth uh, march slot unlocked and that's going to help you when doing the events, when like getting points to, uh, through the horde because you have more marches available, then you have to prioritize research here and you prioritize them from top to bottom. So you go first, troop attack, of course, then you go to infantry, then you go to hunter. Then you have to keep training this. And then lastly, you go for riders because you have to do this to go to the next level. So first troop attack, infantry, then hunter, then troop health, and then lethality. And then you do the same march capacity, then infantry, infantry, troop attack, infantry, and then hunter and then rider so you just keep doing that what i recommend you when researching let's see if i still have time here yeah one minute is to guys uh, buy a lot of these talent reset reset points so in the alliance store so that you are switching constantly you know when you need to research then you switch to econ you use your special talent and then you keep like researching at the same time when you are like training troops you want to be in war mode and especially when you are as well like fighting people and doing events you want to be in war mode so most of the time you have to be in war mode and uh, then you research in econ switch to war keep keep training troops if you are in newer state you are not going to have the benefits or training speed that i have here because i have been playing for a while like you can see here but you're going to have the benefits of like increasing the amount of troops that you can train at once where is that yeah they are your training capacity you know and one more time that's an advantage because that's going to increase the total amount of troops that you can train at once and that of course reduces the time on how often do you have to log in to keep training those troops if you are training as i said before such a lower amount of troops then you are not going to be able to log in every two hours to train troops again and then those buildings are sleeping so if you are training more troops then you can train uh, troops every four six seven eight hours and of course you can log in uh, be able to train troops around the clock and that's going to help you a lot especially as you are growing in new state. so that's for research i'm gonna make a second video about like heroes so the ascertain hate is about to start i hope you enjoy see you next time let me know what else you want to see